Hello, thank you for inviting me to speak here today. This is a moment in your lives and all of our lives, maybe we can really make a difference, um, specifically with universal education. My own relationship to universal education obviously changed a lot in the last few years since I've had my own family and my own questions about how my, my son is going to be educated and how my stepdaughter is going to be educated. Uh, and it's really important stuff. My own situation is I consider myself incredibly fortunate in a very difficult profession. There are very few actors that become successful. And I have become successful beyond my wildest dreams. And I'm extraordinarily grateful for it. At the same time, it, it has an accompanying sense of responsibility that goes with that. But, um, what I hold for myself um, ultimately will turn rancid what I give away and give back obviously just creates more and more good for myself as well as others uh, and, and it's never failed me every time I've, I've held to that truth um, the work that we've done in the foundation here which is uh, human rights work and health work cultural work survival in all possible ways, disaster help, um, incredibly, incredibly satisfying stuff. I don't think there's anything more important in my life right now than the work that I do that comes from this faith of universal responsibility and everything that I do that comes from that place makes me happy, makes me feel good, makes me feel satisfied, connected, full. Everything that does not come from that place of universal responsibility that becomes of self-importance and self-cherishing, selfishness, may work on a short run, but ultimately does not make me happy at all. The quality of your, your being, whether you're happy or not, has little to do with your physical environment. It has to do with your state of your mind. That is what needs to be encouraged in children as well, the states of their minds. And of course, with a good mind, you can use it like a surgeon uses a scalp to do anything. And success comes quite easy to people who have control of their minds. To be developed in a way that there's very little sense of violence or anger ultimately brings enormous good, happiness, and peace to a community, which allows all of us to live in a better way. The truth is that science without morality leads to atomic bombs and weapons. Um, Science with morality feeds the planet, houses the planet, and solves all diseases. How much would you give to live in a secure planet, in a secure country, to know that your family, your friends, your loved ones would never have to live with fear or suffering in the sense of being abused, or going hungry, or having no place to live, close to where? It takes a commitment, though, of people to do this. And the leaders of any community are the ones everyone looks to to make the first sacrifices. I think everyone here in the room and, and on my side, too, we are responsible. We have been blessed with, with resources. We have been blessed with, with, with power in this lifetime to do something. And I think it's really incumbent upon us to do something with that in a positive way. And again, I know I'm preaching to the choir here because I'm sure you all realize that. Um, I think something like universal education is one of the most powerful things we can do because we obviously are creating our future with what we do with our children.